Welcome to this PD session on Merge Cubes presented by Leah Francis and Melissa Nordling. Over the course of this presentation, we will explain what a Merge Cube is and how it works. We will identify benefits of using them in the classroom, and then we will inform you where you can go for possible lesson plans and further information on Merge Cubes. The first thing that you need to do know about the Merge Cube is that it uses augmented reality. So that's when digital information is inserted or overlaid into the real world. So sometimes people get confused between augmented reality and virtual reality. However, there is a big difference between the two. So as I said before, augmented reality is when digital elements are added to the real world, the world that we see. And virtual reality is a much more immersive experience. Usually you'll be wearing a set of goggles and as you look through them, all you'll see is the virtual world. So in short, augmented reality adds things to your world, whereas virtual reality changes your world. One of the best known examples of augmented reality is Snapchat filters, as demonstrated here by my sister who donated some lovely photos of herself. The best example of AR is the dog ears in the centre, where the dog ears and the nose and the tongue have been overlaid onto the image of her face. The Merge Cube is like a trigger or a portal to digital information. Each side of the cube has a code. Your smart device uses the camera to detect and then read the code to know what information to project. To use it, all you need is a smart device with an app installed and the Merge Cube. It does have a virtual reality option when you use the virtual reality goggles. However, due to the high cost and also the health and safety concerns, for example, children becoming dizzy whilst using the goggles, they are almost non-existent in primary school classrooms at this stage. Shown here is the Galactic Explorer app for use with Merge Cubes. It allows students to hold the solar system in the palm of their hand. This photo shows the app being used in a classroom context. When the record button in the top right hand corner is pressed, the app records everything that is happening on the screen until pressed again. Videos created are automatically saved to the camera roll of the smart device. This app only allows for visual, not audio, with the recordings. So what's so good about the Merge Cube? You'll soon discover that it's very easy to use. All you need is the Merge Cube itself and an iPad with some apps installed on it. And most classrooms already have the iPads. There's no internet connection required. And when you get to hold a, cu a Merge Cube, you'll discover that they're very durable. They're made out of a high density foam and they're a little bit squishy. The cost is also quite minimal. So the Cube retails for around $25. However, if you're looking for a classroom set, you can find them a little bit cheaper. Using the Merge Cube will help the students to meet the ICT general capability as set out in ACARA. And it can also be used in a variety of subject areas, depending on the app that you choose to use with the Merge Cube. A single Merge Cube can be used with an endless variety of apps, some of which are shown here on this list. Most of these apps are free and the cost of the paid ones is minimal. So what can you use the Merge Cubes for in the classroom? Well, listed here are the different learning areas and some of the apps that can be used to assist in teaching them. Of particular interest is the idea of using Merge Cubes for virtual excursions via apps such as the Museum Viewer. There are many advantages to virtual excursions as they do not involve any travel or incur any fees. They are also easy from an organisational viewpoint as permission slips and parent volunteers are not needed. With regards to using the Merge Cubes for assessment purposes, children are able to record voiceovers using the Explorer app. This gives them a chance to verbalise their learning and allows them to compose reports and the like. The next slide contains a video showing some of the features of the Explorer app. Hi everyone, this is just a short video we're making to show you some of the features that are available for the Merge Cube using the Explorer app. So here I'm holding my Merge Cube, it's turning it into a box of crayons. And if I want to get a bit silly, I can put it on Mel's head and press stamp. And then we have two copies of the crayons. Let's surround Mel with crayons, shall we? So that's a fun feature because you can stamp multiple items and keep them 
on your screen and you can also talk. So as the children are doing this, they can verbalise what they're seeing and what they're learning. And then you can look at the video as a, a form of assessment to see what your students are up to as they use the Merge Cube. This video from the Merge YouTube channel shows the cubes being used in a classroom at an international school. You will see students using both the augmented reality and virtual reality options with the Merge Cube. So what are the main drawbacks of using the Merge Cube? Well, to begin with, students are consuming ICT, but they're not actually creating it, which means they're not hitting that digital technology strand of the curriculum. The classrooms need to have enough iPads and cubes to go around, as it's best done in pairs or individually. So if they don't, it can create an issue. And also the record feature on the apps only records voices in certain apps. In the other ones, it's just visual. We actually struggle to find any other drawbacks to the Merge Cubes as they're actually very user friendly and easy to learn. But what about the cyber safety and ethics surrounding the Merge Cubes? Well, on the positive side, the Wi-Fi and data on the devices can be turned off so that the students cannot access the internet as the apps all run without an internet connection once installed. Students can also learn how to confirm data from multiple sources as they do research to check the validity of data presented in the Merge Cube apps. On the negative side, any recordings made can be easily shared by the students, meaning that anyone in the background could be identified or there is the possibility that students could record inappropriate messages. All of the apps have access to the camera on the device using them, which means that if they are hacked, it could leave users vulnerable. However, overall, we believe that the merge cubes are very safe to use and the negatives identified here are very unlikely to occur. Using the merge cubes can help pre-service teachers meet the Australian professional standards for teachers. For focus area 1.3, the merge cubes are very visual, which makes it great for students with diverse needs. It also allows for better engagement for students who struggle with English. For example, those who speak English as a second language. There is also focus area 2.6, information and communication technology. By using the cubes, teachers are implementing ICT to deliver the curriculum in an authentic context. For focus area 3.4, which is select and use resources, as teachers learn how to use the merge cubes, they're adding another resource to their repertoire. For focus area 4.1, which is support student participation, using the merge cubes allows students of varying abilities to engage with the material. For focus area 6.2, by engaging with this professional development, you are meeting this standard. There are many resources that have already been created for use with the merge cubes. This slide shows a worksheet specifically created for use with the Mr Body app. It was obtained through the Teachers Pay Teachers website. So what if you want to know more about the Merge Cubes? Well, the best place to start is the official Merge website. Amongst other things, it contains full lesson plans involving the Merge Cubes. As shown in the previous slide, the Teachers Pay Teachers website also contains resources specific to the Cubes. Finally, there is the Merge Miniverse, which showcases many other ways to utilise the Cubes. So what have you learnt today? Well, you've learned what a merge cube is and how it works. You've also learned the benefits of using them in your future classroom. Finally, you've learned where you can go for possible lesson plans and any further information you would like on the merge cubes. Thank you for engaging with this presentation on merge cubes. We hope that you have success implementing them in your future classrooms.